Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mott. We're going to be going over the corrosion lab today. Okay, so um, in the corrosion lab, there's two different reactions. Um, on the left hand side of your screen, we're going to be looking at uh, the reaction of copper metal and nitric acid, HNO3. Uh, nitric acid is uh, it's 8 molar, it's very strong. Uh, definitely do not want to get anything on you. Okay, um, and then the other reaction on the right is going to be aluminum metal and a one molar copper chloride solution. Okay, so uh, let's start out with the nitric and the copper. Okay, um, let's see. We can see on the screen there we got uh, some copper here, and it's actually a little bit of copper uh, turnings or copper foil that we kind of balled up there. So we're going to go ahead and drop that in our test tube. And, uh, and then we're going to add some nitric acid. Okay, so here's my 8 molar nitric acid that we're going to add. And, uh, all right, Let's see if I can do this without a funnel. Oh, it might be a little bit more than we need, but um, uh, that's definitely going to get the job done. Okay. And so we can see the copper is reacting really vigorously right now. And it's producing uh, kind of a brown gas, some nitric dioxide, I think. And uh, uh, not great to breathe in, but there's only little, and I'm, and I'm not breathing it in. Okay? While that's happening, um, we're going to go ahead and start the, the reaction of aluminum and copper chloride. Here's our piece of aluminum. Okay? And we're going to drop that in. And we're going to get our solution of copper chloride. So one molar solution. Pretty strong as it comes for copper chloride. Okay. Now something that um, something that we can kind of notice about there are two labs here is that the copper um, I should have pointed out a little bit earlier but the copper solution is a nice blue green color. And when you have a solution that has copper in it, um, that's one way you can tell. Um, different metal ions can give uh, different colors when they're in solution. And for copper, it can be like a, a nice blue to kind of a, a teal green kind of color. So that's kind of how it started. And um, on the left-hand side, it looks like our copper has reacted completely with the nitric acid. And so the nitric acid started out clear, and then um, when we added... Um, and then when it reacted with the copper, now it turned kind of a blue-green color. And that's what we see right over here. So this solution is now green because the copper metal that we started with is now turned into copper ions. Okay? Um, on the right-hand side, what we can see happening is that our solution of copper chloride, which was a nice green color to begin with, it's now kind of becoming more clear. And what's happening is that the aluminum solid is reacting with these copper ions. And when this reaction happens, aluminum is actually giving electrons to the copper. So we had the copper ions in the solution, and um, which gave us that nice green color. But as the aluminum reacts with the copper ions, um, those copper ions are now turning into copper atom. And so that's, that's the reason that we're losing that nice green color that we saw there before. As this continues to react, what we're going to notice is that um, in the reaction, aluminum metal or aluminum atom is donating those electrons to the copper. We're going to be making copper metal as one of our products here. And uh, once this reaction goes to completion, um, I'll decant the liquid and uh, pour, I'll pour off the liquid. And what we're going to see is uh, um, some copper metal. And by remembering what a penny looks like, we're going to know that copper um, it can be shiny if we polish it. But mostly, most of the time, it's going to look kind of like a dark, uh, kind of brownish color. And that's what we're going to see um, once this reaction goes to completion. Something else to note that uh, we haven't been able to figure out, but um, in the lab, if I go ahead and touch this to my palm, 
This is very, very hot. Um, maybe Google will find a way to allow us to kind of let the the, the, the the idea that the temperature is getting hot in there. Um, it is bubbling, and I think that's some of the heat that's coming off there. Um, I don't think we're producing a gas or anything like that. I think it's just, just the heat that's causing that uh, to, to bubble. That's where that's coming from. All right. Um, this will probably keep reacting for a little while longer. So what I'm going to do is just pour off the liquid there so we can see the, uh, the copper that formed. All right. Still a little bit in there. All right. So um, we can see me. I'll bring a little closer to the camera here. Uh, hopefully you can tell the color. Uh, in person, this is a really nice kind of brown color. And that's your copper that formed uh, in this reaction. All right, so that's been our corrosion lab. We're going to analyze the, the reactions a little bit further um, and figure out where the electrons went and how they moved. All right, thanks very much for tuning in. Bye.